Morning guys, it is Monday morning. Property brother here, what's up? Checking in. A little sweaty because I'm down here in the basement working out and my wife and I are planning our day. One of the things we're gonna do today, we're gonna make a Home Depot run to pick up some paint. Now, one of the number one questions uh, that the unfrumpy mommy gets is, what color is our interior paint? Well, as some of you guys may know, you know, we had our house built and the builder just buys buckets and buckets of paint. So they, when the house was built, they used a lot of uh, Sherwin-Williams gray that they no longer sell, right? And so we can't tell you the exact shade of Sherwin-Williams, but we, knew that we do know that there is a bare paint color that they sell at Home Depot that is very, very close. And that's what we're going to pick up just to do some touch-ups. Now, we're gonna take you guys with us to Home Depot and we'll show you the shade that we're getting. But I would just say, you know, don't get too caught up in you know whatever shade we're getting get what works for you and your personality you know if you want brighter colors or different shades of gray i think that's fine you know we're not necessarily married to the shade of gray that we have pick what you want um so what we're showing on the table here or on the island here is you know we want to talk about in this video different paint techniques and how we paint around the house one of the joys of home ownership is you're not just always painting full rooms. A lot of times you're having to do touch-ups around the house. You have little accidents. If you have children, you get dents in the wall, you have pets, you get scratches or whatever. So one of the things we do at our home to keep it looking neat and tidy is we keep just this blue bucket in our uh, storage room of just random kind of paint supplies. So we do get some paint supplies from the Dollar Tree. Now, I want to emphasize this very strongly. Dollar Tree paint supplies are great for touch-ups. That's it. Please do not try to paint a home room with Dollar Store or Dollar Tree paint supplies. Another thing we keep handy around the house are these uh, erasing pads. Mr. Clean originally came out with these. I think mm -hmm. that's the original brand. Yeah, these are Kroger brand. Right there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so these are a little bit less expensive. We keep these all around the house. You know how you get those black scuff marks on the wall? Try to get those off of the wall with these first. Now, don't rub too hard because it will rub off the paint, but definitely keep, especially if you have little ones and pets, keep a bunch of these around the house. All right, guys, so we brought in some drywall samples and they matched our paint. Now, our paint brand was not bare originally, but they matched it up with bare paint. So babe, what are these colors that they matched up our paint with? All right, so, and guys, we have three different colors in our house. You wouldn't really tell, uh, be able to tell unless you came into the house. But anyway, the first color, Arid Plains. All right, you guys see the number right there? And again, this is Bear. Foggy London. That's that really pretty gray right there. And the last one, guys, is Heirloom Silver. All right, and these are all bare paint. What we did was bring in a little bit of drywall and we just had to match it up. And those are the three paint colors that uh, resemble what we actually have um, in our home. So I really hope that helps, guys. So this chart right here is actually a really good chart because one of the things I want to talk about, paint brands do matter. If you're painting the inside of your home, you actually do want to go with the higher grade brands because you're not going to have to use as much paint. So yeah. what would you use the value paints for, like garages? And, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. and that's a good point. You, you may think you're being uh, saving money, but you use more paint. Another thing that really matters, and they again, they're doing a real good job of breaking this down. You have the different sheens. So you have flat, matte, eggshell. What do we have in our house primarily? We have flat and eggshell. And what do you prefer? I prefer like a satin and a semi-gloss because then you don't see the scuffs and stuff. It's, it's not as apparent. Yeah, I find that the flat scuffs easily. So definitely keep uh, the those eraser pads in the house that I showed earlier to help clean up those scuffs. In terms of paint equipment, we've kept it pretty basic. We've gotten rollers and brushes. Again, if we're doing touch-ups, we'll go to like the Dollar Tree, but for real paint jobs, we'll come to our Home Depot or Lowe's and buy real brushes, real rollers. We've used a paint sprayer once on our fence. Paint sprayers are great. I will say this, you will be surprised how quick they run out of paint. Like you think you're gonna buy a paint sprayer and just go quick, but they go through paint 
quick so you're constantly refilling mm -hmm. the paint sprayer but if you can afford to get one get one especially for big outdoor jobs like fences yeah, they're and not decks. real expensive no they're not see. expensive at all you can see you know it's not super expensive now some of these are guns okay. to remove the paint mm -hmm. but like this paint sprayer and this is this actually resembles the one we had it's only 60 bucks okay but look at look at that small amount of paint yeah you no. you're gonna go through that real quick mm -hmm. So we've picked up a gallon of mistake paint. Mistake paint or oops paint is a great way to save money on paint jobs, but that comes with a few caveats, okay? Doing an entire large area with mistake paint is tricky because this is probably going to be one of a kind paint that's difficult to match the color. A lot of the times it's considered mistake paint is because the colors didn't quite mix right. So the tint may not have came out to the specifications of what the customer wanted. So if you get this, you need to be able to finish whatever job you're doing with this one can of paint. We've used this in the past for, to paint furniture, small pieces of furniture. Uh, the Unfrumpy Mommy has also used it. You do, you, in the past, you did a lot of paint techniques. Mm -hmm. You guys might not know this. You know, our current house, we do a lot of grays, but in previous homes, Believe it or not, we had a lot of bright colored rooms. You did like a Tuscan mm -hmm. wall technique. Yeah, take, with the um, plaster. Yeah, you got really good at using plaster. Uh -huh. You made it look like wallpaper. Yeah. Mistake paint is really good for that because you would only do one accent. Right. So, great way to save money. Just be careful. Don't become overly ambitious when you use mistake paint. Where's that at? Uh, So I want to say one more thing about using color in your home. Again, guys, we are not necessarily opposed to color. Um, in our previous homes, we had rooms with a lot of bright colors. I remember our guest room, one of our houses was a yellow. Uh, our living room, our formal living room was like a light blue. We put stripes in it. So be creative. Now, I will say this. If you plan on selling your home, you are probably going to have to paint it. That is, if you've done all these creative colors and wall techniques and wallpapers, that's all well and good. But if you're moving in four to five years, you're gonna have to repaint it. So just be careful with that. You actually did a video when we moved into our current home, right, babe? I think it was about, like how to stage. Yeah. Yeah, how to stage your home. And um, yeah. our previous home, we had a lot of brightly colored rooms with a lot of cool paint techniques that you did. Mm -hmm. But to put it up for sale, we had to have painters Come repaint in and the redo whole the house. whole house. Yeah. So keep that in mind.